top five. I do not think Moses is top 20. I don't. Uh, and, and this next slide will show you. I just randomly threw up 20 names that I think are better than Morgan Moses. And these and I went through these. Let me see if I can make this a little bigger. These are just names that I just pulled up that I think are better than Morgan Moses. And you guys can, you know, kind of put it in the chat box if you agree with me or disagree with me. And these are the names. If you can't read, them, I'm going to call them out that I think are better than Morgan Moses at tackle. And these are just 20 names and there could be more, could be less. Terry on Armstead for the Dolphins. Deion Dawkins for the um, Buffalo Bills. Obviously, Ronnie Stanley for the Ravens. Um, Orlando Brown Jr. for the Bengals. And that sounds so funny saying Orlando Brown Jr. for the Bengals. Jedrick Willis for the Browns. Jack Conklin for the Browns. I think both of the Browns tackles are better than Morgan Moses. Uh, Lermit Tunsil for the Texans. Cam Robinson for the Jags, even though he's suspended right now. Rashawn Slater for the Chargers. Tyron Smith for the Cowboys. Tyler Smith for the Cowboys. And a lot of you probably going to say, Tyler Smith's a guard. Tyler Smith was playing tackle for the Cowboys because Tyron Smith was hurt. Evan Neal for the Giants. No, oh, sorry, I skipped some. Andrew Thomas for the Giants and Evan Neal for the Giants. I think both of those guys are better than Morgan Moses. I think. And this is, remember, this is my personal opinion. Lane Johnson for the Eagles. P.N.A. Sewell for the Lions. David Bakhtiar for the Packers. Ryan Ramchick for the Saints. Akemi Kwanu for the Panthers, Tristan Wirth for the Bucks, and Trent Williams for the 49ers. Those, those guys, I think, are all better than Morgan Moses. Now, Morgan Moses teetering on top 20, top 30? Yes, he is. I think he, if, 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 if the article said top 30, I think Morgan Moses would be in there. But it said top 20, so I'm going off top 20. I don't think he's a top 20 tackle. But let's go over to the infamous PFF. And I said the infamous PFF. And what it is was, and I'll, I'll tell you this, I did the trial for PFF. Not knowing that I made a mistake and did the whole year. So since I paid for it, we're going to use it. And that's why I've been using it over the past couple of months because I mistakenly paid for it. And it's been actually fun to use. So it's going to be interesting to, to see the top 20 tackles that PFF has. And again, you know, some of us like PFF. Some of us don't because PFF is, well, we know what PFF is. Let me just go to the next slide. If this, the next slide is the top 20 PFF tackles because of grade. Number one, Trent Williams. Let me see if I can make this bigger for you. Number one, Trent Williams, San Francisco 49ers. And we know Trent's a dog. Number two, Christian Darisol, the Minnesota Vikings, 90.4. Number three, Andrew Thomas for the New York Giants, 90.3. Number four, Caleb McGarry, the Atlanta Falcons. And I can see that because the Falcons ran the ball pretty well last year, 86.6. Lane Johnson, who was on my, my list, 84.8. Number six, Colton Miller. And, you know, Josh, Josh Jacobs ran the ball pretty hard. And Colton Miller plays for the Raiders, so we can say that. Tristan Wirfs, who was on my, my list. Brian Miller. So, the Vikings have two tackles up there. And, you know, the Vikings threw the ball well and they ran it okay. So, I guess. I just overlooked them, I guess. Uh, Jordan, how you say it? I don't know Jordan, how you say Jordan's last name. But he's the other tackle for the, the Eagles. And, you know, the Eagles had the best O-line, so we'll give them that also. Pinay Sewell at 86.6. He's number 10. Lermit Tonso, we know. David Bakhtiar, we know. Morgan Moses is sitting at 13. That was interesting to me when I pulled this up. Morgan Moses is sitting at 13 at 78.6. That was really interesting to me. I, I never thought that he would be that high. I, I, I didn't. I didn't. And I'm glad I put my list up there before I went and found this list because this would have swayed my my list. Uh, 14 is Ryan Ramchick from the Saints. 15 is Terry on Armstead. 16 is Jake Matthews. So the Falcons have two guys in the top top 20. The Vikings have two guys in the top 20. The Eagles have two guys in the top 20. Uh, 17 is Josh Jones from the Cardinals, which I never would have thought. 18 is Braden Smith for the Colts. 19 is Braxton Jones for the Bears. Uh, and a tie for number 19 is Orlando Brown Jr. for the Bengals, who was with um, – who Orlando was with? He was with the Chiefs last year. Uh, remember, there's a name that's not there. 
in the top 20. And that's our Megatron. It's not in the top 20. So let me show you what Megatron is. Megatron is all the way down here at 37. Ronnie Stanley is all the way down here at 37. Graded out at a 69.4. And this is, for this reason right here, is why we have this love-hate relationship with PFF. We know so doggone well that DJ Humphreys, Charles Leno Jr., Samuel Cosme, Ty Nishke, Kevin Beecham, Mike McGlinsky, Jamari Salyer are not better than Ronnie Stanley. We know so doggone well that those guys are not better than Ronnie Stanley. Now, they may have graded better than him for whatever the the PFF metric is, but they are not better than Ryan Stanley. It, it's it's never – whatever the metric is, it, it, both tackles in Washington are not better than Ryan Stanley. It, it's, it's, it's just not possible. That's why we all have this love-hate relationship with PFF. Kind of the same reason that we have it with – um. The owner of PFF, uh, what's the guy on Sunday Night Football? Because uh, <laughs> um, he get on our nerves when we listen to him on Sunday Night Football anyway. For the same reason we get on, he get on our nerves with his company, PFF. Um, uh, Collinsworth, that's what I'm thinking about, Collinsworth. So, question is, this is the question for you guys. Put it in the comment section. Is Morgan Moses top 20? Yes or no? Is Morgan Moses top 20? 